I love this subject. Let's explain what rollback netcode is. So let's say you're playing a game online. You need everything you do to show up on another person's computer, and they need everything they do to show up on your computer. But sending information over the internet takes time, and time can kill you in games that require fast twitch reflexes like fighting games or shooters. And also, if your computers aren't synced up, then you'll get a desync, and the stuff that is happening on your screen isn't the stuff that's happening on the opponent's screen, and nothing will make any sense. How do we fix this problem? Well, the most rudimentary way to fix it is called delay-based netcode. With delay-based netcode, you press a button to do a thing, and then it goes to your opponent's computer or like a server in between. And your opponent does the same. And the way that the game prevents from desyncing is it waits for those commands before doing anything. So you press a button, it has to travel to your opponent, and then when it finally gets there, the thing happens on the screen. And that creates lag. It creates a noticeable lag between you pressing a button and your character doing something on your screen. That's the delay in delay-based netcode. It delays your actions to keep the computers in sync. Rollback netcode does something different. Rollback netcode runs two instances of the game completely independent of each other on each of your computers. You press a button, and whatever you're trying to do happens instantly. The same thing goes for your opponents. And then, after happening instantly, that information goes to your opponent, and when it gets there, it happens on their end. Now, you might think this would make the two computers desync, and that's where rolling back comes in. If at any point the game shows that the two computers don't agree with each other, it has the information of who pressed what buttons at what time during the game. So it can basically create a correct game state based on what you pressed and what your opponent pressed. And if the two computers don't agree, that's what it does. It rolls the game back to what it should be and then rolls it back forward to where you are, all in the blink of an eye. And that way, the computers don't desync and you don't experience lag when you press a button. The only problem is, if your connection's very bad, then it might have to roll back very far. So you might see characters teleporting around while the computer tries to figure out what's happening. If you ever see characters teleporting around in an FPS match, that's basically what's happening. It's constantly rolling back and trying to figure out what the correct game state is. Now, rollback netcode is a very old technology. We've had it in old-ass shooters like Quake and Doom. But for some games, especially games made by Japanese developers, they had never considered rollback netcode before. So Nintendo's bad online? It's because there's no rollback. Bad fighting game netcode in Dragon Ball Fighter Z, No rollback. And since we've all been locked inside during the pandemic, Japanese developers have started to get the picture. Guilty Gear Strive, King of Fighters 15, all the new fighting games are coming out with rollback. And with any luck, Nintendo will follow suit. Maybe. Possibly. Kinda. Probably not.